100.5. The Peak. So we have Ryan and Jasmine and Molly from Mother Mother in studio today, which is super exciting. We're dying to hear you perform live, and I did mention that I just love Wrecking Ball. You want to do it? Sure. Would you? Would love to. Okay, this is Mother Mother live on 100.5 The Peak with Wrecking Ball. All right, this one goes out to uh, mine and Molly's father on his birthday today. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday Dad. Dad. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday, there, Dad. <laughs> I met a lack out of my hand, I put it through the wall. I made a fist and not a left on me, Eric's wrecking ball. I throw my plates against the wall and give it all I got hard. I am the wreck and I won the all. I'm just a big old wrecking ball. I am a movie in the stands. The peak. You know what that sounds like? More. Would you do Canary another one? <laughs> Emily Carr and artists and starving artists, and that's kind of what we're talking about right now on 100.5 The Peak with Mother Mother. And James Sutton just brought up a really good question. Uh, we're working on a, a project right now with Music PC uh, called the Peak Performance Project. It's kind of uh, aimed at emerging artists, helping people take the next step, and really teaching and uh, working with young bands, singer-songwriters, to help get a foothold in the industry. Now, you guys have kind of moved up the ladder a little bit with your new album. It's really good, and most people I talk to who have heard of your band are passionate fans. Do you have any advice for uh, young artists who might have been in your position five years ago, uh, who are, are looking to be successful, or as successful as yourselves? What is it? Don't quit your day job? <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention to the business side of things and really like learn from your experiences. That's what I'd say. Mm -hmm. It's it's important that you are aware of what's going on around you so you don't get taken advantage of and that you're able to promote yourself effectively, I think. Isn't that the big part of it now? Yeah. Is that so much of it falls on you as independent artists to do everything. So you That's have true. to MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, book your shows sell your CDs, design everything. Twitter. By the way, <laughs> Twitter, tweet, uh, I love Twitter. We haven't Twitter. Um, gotten a hold of the Twitter part. 
That's our problem. Um, <laughs> it's no, a dedication. Yeah, it, is a de it takes a certain special <coughs> kind of person. An attention span of zero. Yeah. We didn't have to Twitter four years ago. No. no. Twitter's no. new. It was a changing. different industry. Mm -hmm. Totally <laughs> different. Um, and what I love about your work, too, is, is the artwork as well. The chicken, the rooster, on your uh, first album was... Did you do that, Molly? Yes, I did. Get, get out! out. <laughs> no, you get out, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> no way. It's that's the truth. She that's does it all. Awesome. The fish, so too. Mm -hmm. That is so incredibly cool. Well, you know, you. Oh, you, you are obviously multi-talented, and you write such great songs that we've decided that we want another one. Right, James? Please. And James has a very special request because it's a love song that he fell in love with one day and he came and he's like, I just love this mother mother song so much. Why don't you uh, ask for it, James? You guys play In my in Your Arms Tonight? Is that what it's called? Uh, in Your Arms Tonight. Your arms tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got it. Thanks, man. Aww. And romance. <laughs> Here it is, Mother Mother In Your Arms Tonight on 100.5. <laughs> Thanks a lot for having us in. Yes, thank you. No, thank you guys so much for coming in.